Well, I certainly think that Mr. Nguyen was a, a danger to the public. Having him off the street will certainly help with gang violence. On Friday, the Integrated Homicide Investigation Team released the details of its seven-year investigation, eProsperity, linking together multiple homicides related to ongoing gang conflict in BC. So on October 27th, 2017 at 9 p.m., the Surrey RCMP responded to a report of gunfire in the 11300 block of Alpen Place. Members attended and located Randeep Kang deceased. Also targeted in the shooting were survivors Gary Kang and Camila Walonzo. On Thursday, hitman Tyrell Nguyen was sentenced to life in prison with no eligibility for parole for 25 years after he was found guilty of multiple offenses last November. Nguyen was found guilty on two first-degree murder charges and two attempted murder charges. At the time of the homicides, Nguyen and the Kang brothers were affiliated to the Brothers Keepers group. Tyrell Nguyen, a self-described hitman for the Brothers Keepers, was hired by members of the Brothers Keepers group to kill the Kang brothers. IHIT says Nguyen also murdered Jagvir Mali the following year in Abbotsford. It says Mali was an unintended target. Jagvir Mali was a young university student with no history of criminality. However, there were some individuals in his life that were involved in the BC gang conflict. I hit Sergeant Timothy Parati says it's important for the public to understand the complexity of investigating gang-related homicides and why it took seven years to wrap up this investigation. And the length of time which it can take to investigate, arrest, disclose and prosecute a homicide, all before a judge or jury can render a decision. Parati says he would like people to think twice before considering joining a gang like Brothers Keepers. There's no loyalty in gangs. These people are killing each other and then continuing to do that. So there are people that, you know, younger people that step into these roles. It's really sad to see when that happens. We are going to work with our partners at all the detachments to send that message out that you have to end gang life because getting into that, it shortens your lifespan. In Vancouver, Angela Bauer, City News.